Hello and welcome back to Premier League Predictions, the show which does what it says on the tin. We're here for a very special edition of Premier League Predictions. It's the Boxing Day fixtures, game week 19 of the 23-24 season. We're sporting Christmas hats because it's a very Christmassy feeling. Harry, how are you feeling? I'm very happy. I'm very, very, very happy. I've made it clear already. I do know a bit of festive football. And yeah. these are the, this is the best game week of the season. Boxing Day fixtures. After a brilliant Christmas day, what more could you want? Exactly, couldn't agree more. So, without further ado, let's just crack into it. And our opening picture of the Boxing Day games, Newcastle versus Nottingham Forest. It's the 12.30. Newcastle, they've been in poor form recently. They've been hoping to bounce back in style here against a Nottingham Forest side who've been very shaky. Last time out, they lost 3-2 to Bournemouth with uh, Dom Solanke grabbing a hat-trick in that one. A very good hat-trick for Solanke and very bad for my FPL team. And also they've lost Willie Bolly, so that's not great for Forrest. Newcastle in poor form, though. Can Forrest take advantage of that, or will Newcastle get back to winning ways? I'm going to go for a very slim margin to Newcastle. One, only one goal to nil, because both sides are struggling a little bit at the moment, but I think the quality of Newcastle will prevail, and it will be a solo goal from Anthony Gordon. I'm thinking, pick it up on the halfway line, run past four people, slot it past whoever's in goal. That's yeah. Nice. I'm thinking we're getting a 1963 Boxing Day vibe from these Boxing Day games. I feel like it's just going to be pure right. carnage, like that Santa's going to come along, sprinkle his magic all over these fixtures, and it's going to be Newcastle 3, Nottingham Forest 2 to get us started. It'll be goals from, I'm trying to think who's fit for Newcastle, not many people. I'll say Callum Wilson with a brace, because I know he's fit, and then I will say Bruno Gimelaj. Yeah, it's yeah, fit. Yeah. There we go. There's three for Newcastle. And then after Chris Wood's brace against Bournemouth, I think we're back with another goal here. And then I'll say Anthony Alanga to get a second for Forrest. But it won't be much. And, uh, and they'll lose 3 2. Right. I'm next then the first of two three o'clock kickoffs, but we can actually watch them because it's a Tuesday, all available on Amazon Prime. And first up, it's Bournemouth versus Fulham. Should be an interesting game. This Bournemouth and Fulham both sides in really good form. Anthony Iriola's Bournemouth team have been playing some really nice stuff recently. Quite fortunate, I think, in the Forest game to come away three two. If they didn't have the world's greatest striker, they might have struggled there. As for Fulham, they've been in very good form recently. Did, uh, who did they play over the last weekend? Yeah, randomly. Quite disappointing, wasn't it? Because they've won five 0 against like <laughs> West Ham and stuff. Then they lost to Newcastle. Now they lost to Burnley. Are Fulham back on the down low and both in good spirits potentially? How do you see this panning out? Yeah, I think both sides are playing some decent stuff, and that's all. Says all you need for a good old two-two draw. Oh. I think Bournemouth will take the lead through Dom Solanke. Get him on the plane. Euro 24 is there. Then I think Fulham will equalise through Awobi, take the lead through Tossin Adrabayo, header, and then it'll be a late level up from Marcus Tavernier. I like it. As someone who has Marcus Tavernier in his FPL team, did nothing last weekend I could do with that. I will say 4 3 Fulham. Wow. It's going to be a good game. Every, every game is going to be a good game. It's mm. Christmas. So we're going bold with the predictions, and it will be a Harry Wilson brace for mm. Fulham. Then both will get back into it through Lewis Cook and Dango Uatara. Then Fulham will take the lead again through Harrison Reid. And then Bournemouth will go will level it again through Marco Sanessi. And then Fulham with a late winner from Bobby Deckel Dover Reid. Like it. Big 4 3 win for the Cottagers. Up next, it's a relegation scrap. Sheffield United versus Luton Town. A big win for Luton against Newcastle the other day. That was phenomenal on Saturday with that 1-0 victory. Sheffield United, they came close to... to the, no, they did get a draw. They, I was going to say close to winning. 1-0 with Aston Villa on Friday night. Quite a good result for them, but still, they lose ground on Luton, they lose ground on Burnley. Will that misery be further compiled here as they, as they welcome Luton to the... What's their stadium called again? Ramel Lane, or uh, or will they be able to actually get one up on them? Yeah, Luton look like an invincible force who, whenever they play anyone at home. It's incredible. Sheffield United are crap. I don't know how they got a point at Villa. They had 22% of the ball. That uh, yeah. is a joke. The problem is, though, both sides don't like having the ball. Um, but I do think it'll be Luton Town who come away with three points. I'll go 1-0. Bit of a really dull game. Everyone else is watching Bournemouth Fulham. That's 4-3. Uh, and I'll go a goal from Elijah Adebayo. You know, again, probably a ball in from Doughty, header into the goal, Sheffield United are rubbish. Don't mind that. Don't mind that at all. I mean, that would take Luton out of the drop zone, considering mm. Forrest are probably going to lose to Newcastle. So, exciting times. I will go for a bit more of a 
comprehensive 3-0 Luton win. Sheffield United lost 5-0 to Burnley. There's no reason Luton can't get to at least three. I will say Alfie Doughty, low-driven shot from the edge of the area. Then I will go Elijah Adebayo. It's pretty predictable. Yeah. Ball whipped in. Maybe Doughty again. So anyone with Doughty in their FPL mm -hmm. team, put a caption on, see on him. And then I will say... Ross Barkley, because at the moment he is playing like Iniesta again. He More has to. He has to be on the plane. Has to be on that plane. Um, if, honestly, if they pick Jordan Henderson, who's playing in the Camel League, and um, who else is? There? Oh, Cameron Phillips hasn't played football for two years. Over him, it's a disgrace. Up next, Burnley versus Liverpool, the five thirty kickoff. This should be a good game. Burnley, they've uh, they've had an up and down season, but a big win against Fulham last weekend. It does give them hope of staying up this year. As for Liverpool, well, they have had two disappointing draws on the bounce. Against United, it was a very difficult game, which they couldn't score. And against Arsenal, well, you could claim they were robbed by the referees, but they didn't really do enough to win it by themselves. Trent missing a big opportunity right at the end of the game. How do you see this one panning out? Will it be a comfortable Liverpool away win, or can Burnley hold them off? I... Burnley have started... I don't know how they beat Fulham last week. I don't know what they're doing. They're winning, starting to win some games now. Yeah. Liverpool, two frustrating draws. That says to me that Liverpool need to let out that frustration. So I will go Burnley nil, Liverpool four. I mm. think they'll really want to put this Burnley team to the sword. It'll be a Mo Salah double, a Darwin Nunes goal, and then a fourth from Harvey Elliott off the bench. Yeah, I mean, this could be the result which loses company in his job, which would be quite a horrible time to lose mm. your job, isn't it? On Christmas from Merry Boxing Christmas Day. Sacked. Yeah, unlucky you're now unemployed. I will go... I don't think it'll be that bad. I'll go 6-1 Liverpool. Not not a massive drubbing, but yeah. still a big result for Liverpool. Uh, but I think they'll still be afforded time company because it is Liverpool. I think it'll be Salah with a hat-trick. Darwin Nunes will score because I'm going to take him out of my FPL team. So, obviously, he'll then score. I will say Cody Gakpo. And then I will go Curtis Jones for the sixth. As for Burnley, their goal will come through Dara O'Shea and the header. Love it. So there Love we go. By so, consolation, at least, for Burnley. I'm trying to think yeah. what their nickname is. No idea. The Clarets, Clarets is it? Yeah. They've definitely stolen that from the other Claret teams. And then the final game of Boxing Day, we're going to be live for. Join us here. Boxing Day football, we love it. We were live last year. It was a great time with everyone that turned up. We'll be live again this year. Eight o'clock kickoff. We'll be live from quarter to eight. Celebrate Christmas. We'll, you know, we'll be happy. We'll be sipping on mulled wine Hopefully, and loving the football. If Villa can pull it out, uh, pull out the bag, it should be a very, very... Funny game. Yeah, I don't think I mentioned what the game is. It's Manchester United versus Aston Villa. Yeah. Should be a good one. The stream page should be out on the channel now. So go check it out and join us there. On to the Wednesday then, because we've still got half a game week to get through now. It's up next with Brentford versus Wolves. It's potentially a really good game of football. Brentford, there are sides that have had mixed fortunes this campaign, but when they're at their best, they do play some really good stuff. As for Wolves, well, they've... They've been up and down as well. But, again, when they're at their best, they play some really nice stuff. So this could be a good game. Brentford potentially feeling a little sharper, given the fact they didn't have a game last weekend. Will that have an impact? What do you think? I think we're going to see our first festive nil-nil. Oh, I really that's do. sad. I think both sides haven't... Are so up and down. It's both just it's just a bit of a dull game. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. That's, that's depressing. I will say... To, to liven up the Christmas spirits, Brentford 1, Wolves 4. And it's going to be wow. a big win for Gary O'Neill's side. He's not going to have to complain about anything on the VAR. I think Brentford will score first through Kevin Shade. Or Kevin Shard, if you're going to pronounce it correctly. A <laughs> nice little hint there to tomorrow's video. Look out for that. As for Wolves, I will say Huang Lamina, John Rekna Belagard, And then I will say... Nelson Samedo for the fourth like it, and a big like win it. for the Wolves. Up next, at the same time, that half seven kickoff, it's Chelsea versus Crystal Palace. Chelsea, well, we haven't seen their game against Wolves yet, so you know that could massively swing both of these two predictions. But let's say they've won that, because if not, I'm going to cry. Mm. They're coming into this off the back of a win, of two wins, sorry. That's quite good form for Chelsea. One in the Carabao Cup last week. That's pretty decent. They're through in that. Four. Well, we won on pen, so we're taking it. <laughs> They're playing Crystal Palace side here. You failed to really shine, I would say, this year. I mean, it's not often that Crystal Palace shine, but <laughs> they usually look a little better than they do at the moment. They look a bit flat. So, can Chelsea lay a bit, you know, get a bit of a win? Or will Roy Hodgson on the Boxing Day football, it won't be on actual Boxing Day, but will he be up for this one? I think it'll be a frustrating game for Chelsea. Poor first half, still nil at the break. Into the second half, though, I think we'll look revitalised. Maybe there'll be a change or two. 
And I'll go a goal from Mihailo Madrid after that Carroll Cup success and a goal from Cole Palmer to get the win across the line in the second half. Love it. I'm going to go a bit more comprehensive. I'm going to go Chelsea 3, Crystal Palace 0. And it will be goals from Cole Palmer because he just scores every game at the minute. And Palace do love conceding penalties because Joel Ward's on the pitch. I will then go for... Armando Breuer, because I think he might start. If Jackson starts Wolves, I could see Breuer starting against Palace, unless Jackson scores a hat-trick. So then I will go for final goal scorer. I'll say, let's go back to Matty Kovacic. doesn't even play for him anymore. I will go for... Oh God, it's a real lack of goal scorers. Raheem Sterling, why not? Goals from all the attackers, 3-0 Chelsea. Up next, it's a quarter past eight kickoff. Everton versus Manchester City. Two sides who've been accused of FFP chart breaches. One of them has been charged with it, the other gets away with it. Mm. Everton at home will be hoping to get their own back in this game. The three points could be really good for them to pull away, pull further away from the relegation and closer to the European places. As Manchester City, they have to win. Liverpool have been pulling away in recent weeks. Arsenal have been pulling away in recent weeks. They have to get back to winning ways as they return to Premier League action. How do you see this one panning out, Harry? Well, City have been, you know, off in Saudi, winning the Club World Cup, battering in Fluminense. But I think, you know, they were, didn't look too good in the league beforehand. And I think Carl Walker's going to have vivid images of Filippo Melo attacking him. That and he's going to make an error. Right, right. So Everton get in behind, play it into Carlton, he'll make it 1-0. And then when you go 1-0 down to Everton at Goodison, you do not get anything from that game. Toffees won, Citizens nil, big win for Sean Dyche on Boxing Day. Fair enough, fair enough. I will go Everton 3, Manchester City 3. Ooh. They've been some very good games in the Premier League this season. This might just top all of them because Everton are going to have a masterclass. They will score first through Beto. Yeah. I don't know who, or whether him or Cavalier will start, but I'll say Beto to score. Then they'll get another through Dwight McNeil. City will get one back for Alvarez, but then Everton will make it 3-1 through the massive head of James Tarkovsky. And in the last 10 minutes, Manchester City will score two goals, courtesy of Phil Foden and Nathan Ake. And then everyone will be like, classic City, yeah. you know, getting it at the death. And then, okay. Arsenal, and then Arsenal fans will be tweeting that. And then people will reply, hang on, you got it at the death against Luton yeah. Town. And then the great banter. Anyway, big three-all draw there for both sides. On to the Thursday, then, the final two games of this game. Well, the first one, we're live for Brighton versus Tottenham. Now, we're probably going to end up watching both games throughout the evening because that starts first and our attention will be on that. But then we move into Arsenal-West Ham after that. But there's 45 minutes mm. difference between the kickoff times. So when we get to half time, Brighton Tottenham, we're going to be switching over to Arsenal West Ham. So join us for both of them. It's going to be a good night of, of festive action. Join us there. Brighton Tottenham, though, we won't give a prediction here because we aren't live for it. However, we can predict Arsenal West Ham. Harry, what do you think this is going to How do you think it's going to pan out? Arsenal top of the league at the minute. West Ham in great form. They just battered Man United. They have looked incredible in recent weeks. Can they get something against Arsenal? Yeah, West Ham have been absolutely flying, and Arsenal have. Been plodding along nicely, I'd say. I don't think they've been, you know, cruising at the top of the Premier League. It has been tough in them in a few recent games. A bit yeah. fortunate with, you know, drawing to Liverpool. Very fortunate drawing to Liverpool. And the fact that Villa didn't capitalise on that on the Friday night by drawing Sheffield United. I'm going to go Arsenal 2, West Ham 2. Ooh. I think Arsenal will take the lead. A little Desmond. Yeah, Arsenal will take the lead through Saka. West Ham will then completely flip the score scoreline with a goal from Kudos, Kudos and... A free kick from Ward Prowse, but then again, it'll be a late leveller for Arsenal through Reese Nelson off the bench. I like it. I just think they're giving West Ham too much kudos. I will say Arsenal 3, West Ham 1. I think West Ham are very good, but as proved by the Liverpool game in the Cowboy Cup, they're still a level off those clubs. And I think Arsenal, given the fact they're in the title race, given the fact they know City's result the night before, and Liverpool's not against Burnley, they'll be hoping, therefore, to either keep up with them or jump ahead of them. The pressure will be on Arsenal, but I think they will thrive under that pressure. It'll be goals from Martinelli, Saka and Jesus. Somehow, Jesus and Martinelli are going to score. And then West Ham will get a goal back through Neuf Agua Did corner, you... whipped in by Paul Prowse. Didn't West Ham knock the Arsenal out of the Carabao Cup before Liverpool? Yeah, they, Ham, did, they did do that, but right. that was a couple of months ago. Oh, right. that, was a, that was a while ago. Yeah, that was a while ago. <laughs> Just saying, in recent weeks, yeah, while they're yeah. in good form, they still couldn't beat Liverpool, so Very they won't beat week. us. Very, yes. So, <laughs> last week... <laughs> Uh, forgot what happened. Anyway, let's move on. That That's the end of this game week. It's been a lovely Boxing Day fixtures. Hopefully you've joined us for all of the streams. And if you haven't, join us for the next one. But yeah, 
But that's been a good weekend of football. Christmas is now over, so we can finally take off the Christmas hats. And yeah, look out for all the stuff. If you haven't watched the Christmas podcast from yesterday yet, make sure to do so. I um, don't know why I took a Christmas hat off. My hair is a mess. Uh, go check out the podcast from yesterday. Go wait for the moments coming out tomorrow. And then we've got something special planned for New Year's Day. We'll be teasing that very soon. But that's everything for today. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. And we'll see you next time. See ya.